Hi everyone! So today I'm going to walk through how to use our pre-made templates in Canva in order to create and export your own spell stickers for use in your Vesper's Vault digital character journal. Let's go! So the big question we get is, why isn't every single spell included with our spell sticker packs? And the reason for that is pretty simple, and it's because we aren't legally allowed to print them. We are only able to provide spells that have been designated in the SRD for 5e. Because obviously we'll all be using spells that might not only be in the SRD, including spells from supplemental materials and homebrew spells, I've created a few different ways you can make your own. I've included these templates in both our Adventurers Bundle and the individual journal sets so that you can make, save, and use your own stickers for any spells that aren't included in the SRD or anything else you wish to make. The idea here is that you can make a spell card that you can continue to use over and over again. You can, of course, also just use the form fill that is provided in the PDF in software like Adobe Acrobat or Zoto to fully form fill in your spells for your characters or manually write them in in GoodNotes. But if you are playing a character that is constantly changing spells every long rest, like a cleric or a druid, this might get a little tedious. So the great thing about this is that once you make a sticker, you can keep on using it. So we do have two different ways of doing this. One is a GoodNotes template that we have included as a GoodNotes file that you can open up in GoodNotes and create spell cards right in GoodNotes. We do have a separate tutorial for that that I'll link at the bottom of the page, but today we're going to specifically be looking at our Canva templates. So you will need a free Canva account in order to do this. So we're going to walk through how to sign up for one really quick. So from Canva's homepage, all you're going to do is just press this sign up button up here in the corner. As you can tell, there are a few different options for Canva that you can sign up for, but all we really need is the free version for what we're going to do today. So go ahead and click on that sign up button. They do give you a few different options of how you can sign up with Canva, but we're just going to click continue with email as most people do have an email that they will be able to use for this. So you're just going to type in your email into the little box here and then press continue. Just go ahead and type your name and press create account. It's going to send you a code. So all you need to do is go over to your email and you should have a code sitting in your inbox. Go ahead and copy or control C that code and control V or paste it into the box here. And that's all you have to do. Now you have a free Canva account. Uh, if you get this little pop up here, we're just going to press personal as this is a personal account. You don't want to sign up for a free trial. It's free anyways. This is just their premium service, which we don't need. So just select maybe later on this pop up screen. And now you can see we have our Canva account all set up and ready to go. Okay, so now we're all signed up for our free Canva account and we're ready to design our first spell card. So as you can see, there are a lot of options here on our home screen. And if your screen looks a little bit different, just go ahead and press this home button over on the left side to get to this screen here. So from here, up in the right corner here, just press this purple button that says create a design. And from the drop down menu, select import file. Now just navigate to wherever it is on your computer that you have your files saved. Within the digital character journal files, these templates will be under spell stickers and under the file for create your own. And as you can see, they're right here, the Canva spell sticker templates, and there are two sizes for this. There's one that's small, which is just the regular spell card size, and the larger one, which is made to fit over two of the preset boxes and to accommodate longer spells. So for right now, we're just going to pick the small one and then go ahead and press open. Canva will start to import your file. And once it's finished uploading, it will just show up here underneath recent designs. Go ahead and click on it to open it. And as you can see, we have our file open here with a nice template for a spell sticker. Now, as you go ahead and hover your mouse over these, you can see these little purple boxes that show up are just the pre-made text boxes that I've already put here for you to make this a little bit easier. If you click on one, 
We get a whole bunch of options here up at the top that allow us to change our text and have a little bit of customization with this. This over here is a selection that you can use to choose a different font if for some reason you wanted a different font on here. You can change the size of the font. You can change the color right here. You can make it bold or italic, underlined, all sorts of different things. And you can also change the alignment. It's best to have the alignment in the center. Sometimes when it imports, it automatically puts all the text boxes over to the left. So as we go through, we'll probably be just adjusting that to the center. And you might also need to make some slight adjustments to some of these text boxes as well. Okay, so let's start filling out this spell sticker for the stake of this tutorial. I am just going to use the spell Fireball, a nice classic spell of fiery destruction. So I'm just going to start filling this out. So I'm going to double click on these text boxes and use my keyboard to type in the information that I want to appear. And like I mentioned before, there may be times when you need to adjust your font size just a little so that whatever you typed fits neatly into the space provided. You can also adjust your text boxes this way as well. For your spell description, I always find it easiest to just find the spell that you're that you're trying to create online and go ahead and copy and paste the text from it. So I've pulled up the fireball spell here in the D and D wiki dot, and I'm just going to paste it right here in my spell description. I'm going to adjust this box just a little bit and maybe make the font size a little bit smaller so that it all fits nicely. Now, I get a question a lot about what the verbal spell means here. This is purely for role playing, and it's just so that you have a spell that you can use and actually say the verbal component of the spell if you wish to. There may be official ones of these somewhere, but it could be really whatever you'd like. You don't even have to fill it in if you don't like. Okay. So there we go, we have our spell card all filled in with all the details for the fireball spell. Uh, you can, if you'd like at this point, make any last minute adjustments. If you wanna change the font on all of the text boxes all at once, you can do that by selecting all of them. If you just press shift while you click down on every single box um, until you have them all selected and then you can use the font tool over here on the side to change the font to whatever you would like it to be. Okay, so I think we've got this all ready to go. I think this looks pretty good. We've got all of our spell details in, a few customizations with the font. Um, so now we are ready to export this file. Before we actually export it, let's just go ahead and change the file name here up at the top. So this little section right over here is your file name and you can just change it. I'm just gonna call it Fireball, just so when it saves onto my computer, I know exactly what it is and it'll be easy to find. And when you're ready to export it, we're just going to press this button here that says share and scroll down to where it says download. And we're going to want to choose the file type for PNG, which is the one that's already selected. You don't have to mess with any of these options right over here. And we're just going to go ahead and press download. It'll take a second to download, but there you go. You can see that our download has completed. Depending on how your settings are set up on your computer, it might prompt you to save this in a specific spot, or it might just automatically go into your downloads folder, which is what mine did. It is right here. Now, what I would recommend from here, if it does just go immediately into your downloads folder, is just to copy it and paste it somewhere where it's a little easier to find. So I'm actually going to make a new folder here inside of my spell sticker section of my digital character journal folder. And I'm just gonna call it my spells. And this is where I'm going to save this file. Just so that I have all of my spells all in the same spot and they'll be really easy for me to find later. So you can see if you double click on this, this did 
export a PNG file of our spell that we filled out. So now that we have this, you can use this PNG, this image file, and import it into your digital character journal exactly the same way as you would for any of our other spell stickers. It's here for you to use. You can use it over and over again, and you can also create more spells. So if you'd like to make another spell card, all you need to do is either go back into the same file and re-edit the details into whatever spell it is you're looking to create, or just re-import the original PDF template in order to start from scratch. It's kind of nice to do it this way because if we did change our font options, they'll all stay the same and you won't have to make all those adjustments again. So you can just go ahead and update this to whatever the new spell is that you want to cast. And that's it. You can repeat this process as many times as you'd like and create as many spell stickers as you want to import into your digital character journal. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe so you're up to date on all the rest of our videos. Thanks again for stopping by.